Are you tired of spending your cold hard cash on cold hard water for your cooler or lunchbox? Stick around to learn how to make six brilliant DIY ice packs that'll keep your food and drinks colder than your ex's heart. Some of these could even double as a cold press for when she kicks you in the shins. Gear up and get outside. Hi folks, today I'm gonna show you six incredibly easy and unconventional DIY ice packs that you can make at home using everyday items. First up, the sponge ice pack. Grab some large, clean sponges, water, and resealable plastic bags. Soak the sponges with water, stuff them into the bags, get rid of excess air by giving them a little squeeze, then freeze and voila. In a few hours or overnight, they're ready to roll. This one is particularly great for lunch boxes because it's the perfect size and can even be used for cleaning up afterwards. Next, let's make a saltwater ice pack. You'll need two cups of water, a third a cup of table salt, and resealable plastic bags. Mix the water and salt until dissolved. Pour the mixture into a plastic bag, seal and freeze. This ice pack will stay cold for a really long time. The dish soap ice pack is super easy. All you need is liquid dish soap and resealable plastic bags. Fill a bag with dish soap, seal it and freeze. This ice pack is perfect for both coolers and lunch boxes. The corn syrup ice pack is a sweet surprise. You'll need corn syrup and resealable plastic bags. Fill a bag with corn syrup, seal, put it in another bag, and freeze. Double bagging here is a must if you want to keep yourself out of a sticky situation. This pack will keep your items cold without getting them wet. Rice and beans aren't just for dinner. The rice or dried beans ice pack is great for those who want a dry option. You'll need uncooked rice or dried beans, a cloth or fabric, and a needle and thread. Fill the cloth with rice or beans, sew it up, and freeze. It's not the coldest DIY ice pack on our list, but it might impress your friends and can be heated up as a hot pad if you end up sleeping on a rock while you're out camping. Last but not least, the gel ice pack. You'll need one cup of rubbing alcohol, two cups of water, and ding, 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 you guessed it, resealable plastic bags. Mix the alcohol and water, pour the mixture into a bag, seal, and freeze. This flexible slushy ice pack can be molded to hug items in your cooler like a long lost friend, also for banged up shins or other swollen injuries. All right, now for some rapid fire tips and tricks to get the most out of your DIY ice packs. Number one, pre-chill or freeze items before putting them in the cooler for maximum chillage. Number two, layer ice packs, food and drink items in your cooler like a delicious frozen lasagna for even distribution. Number three, fill empty spaces with extra ice packs or crumpled newspaper for a cozy cooler cuddle. Number four, like vampires, coolers don't like the sun or being disturbed when it's not meal time. So keep your cooler out of direct sunlight and limit the number of times you open it. Number five, go big or go home. Use larger ice packs for longer trips. Number six, just like when you buy a goldfish, double bag your homemade ice packs or use heavy duty bags to avoid leaks. Number seven, label your homemade ice packs with their contents or not. I mean, who doesn't love a good mystery? Number eight, combine different types of homemade ice packs for extra cooling power. And that's it. Now you know how to make six fantastic DIY ice packs for coolers and lunch boxes. These homemade ice packs are perfect for camping, hunting, beach days, barbecues, fishing, boating, and more. Give them a try and let us know which one is your favorite in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more outdoor tips and tricks. And if you wanna know which coolers will keep your cheap homemade ice packs the coldest for the longest, check out this video where I did an ice retention challenge with 28 different coolers. Thanks for watching and happy cooling.